Yo, what's up? This your boy John O with this week's rant, which is the last rant of the year. So without any further delay, I'm going to jump right into it. On my last rant, somebody asked in the comments, why was I whispering? Well, the reason I was whispering, because I was in my house and my son was asleep. Have you ever noticed when you get kids gifts for Christmas, they prefer to play with the boxes and the wrapping more than they play with the gifts? What the fuck is that about? Shout out to Miss Columbia, because no matter if you did lose, your ass became the biggest winner of this whole pageant, because you're still being talked about, and the pageant is over. So shout out to you, boo. I'm sick and tired of seeing white rappers jump up on stage at somebody's show, starting to rhyme, and everybody think he's the next best thing since sliced bread. Let me say this. Stop comparing all these white rappers to Eminem. Eminem was different. Eminem actually has skills and can rhyme. Other than Eminem, you got Beastie Boys, you got maybe House of Pain, you got uh, Third Base. But once it get past that, it gets a little sketchy with white rappers. So stop thinking white rappers are going to come in and take over hip-hop. Because they not. Bottom line is, you got maybe five. And that's it. I know y'all want a new fucking white rapper champion like y'all want a white heavyweight. But it's not going to happen. Be happy with Eminem. And let it go. So apparently, Justin Bieber is a cheap motherfucker. He went out to a club and only tipped $200 to the waitress. Damn, Bieber. With all the money you got and they comped you for everything, you only left 200 bucks. That's fucked up, B. So this particular rant was so ridiculous, I have to read it verbatim. Just because I want y'all to understand how ludicrous this shit is. Alright? So... Deputy Jennifer McLean, who was arrested for sleeping with a white supremacist while he was in jail for a hate crime against a black man. Talking about a desperate ass bitch. Really, Jennifer? You slept with a white man who had a hate crime against a black man and you're black. Not to mention that you're the deputy in the motherfucking jailhouse. It's all type of wrong shit with that. I, 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 I don't even know where to start, but just calling you one of the stupidest, and I hate calling women bitches, but you a stupid bitch. It really pisses me off when I walk into the bathroom and I try to go into the family room in the mall, and somebody is in there. And when they come out, it just be one dude by himself. Let me explain something to you people. The family room is for people with babies. Not for you to go in there because it's clean and it's, it's much better than the motherfucking regular toilet. It's not for you. If you don't have a child, stay out the damn family room. This part of the rant is something special and something new. This is something that I want to call sayings. This is written by my boy M. Try, but interpreted by your boy John O. Check this out. When someone says thank you, the proper response is not that two-syllable humming sound that sounds like mm-hmm. What the fuck is that? Do you speak English or any language for that matter? What language is mm-hmm? Sounds like you got something in your mouth. You sound like you didn't want to say anything after I just said thank you. So you figured I mumble a response and that should be good enough for this asshole. The only time mm-hmm is acceptable is when you're agreeing with something. Like, yo, this shit here is the bomb. Mm-hmm. Number two, no problem. No problem? Why would it be a problem? Do you want a problem? What people really are saying is, it's a bit of an inconvenience for me, slightly a problem, but not really, so it's no problem. Number three, no worries. I'm not worried at all. Are you worried about something? Who's worried here? I bought a cup of coffee. I paid you. You gave me my change back. I said thank you. When did all this worrying shit start happening? All I needed was a good old fashioned, you're welcome. And stop all this pretentious bullshit. And while we're here, when did I'm sorry get replaced with Oh, my bad. You stepped on my fucking foot. Now say you sorry before I put my other foot in your ass. And then it'll be my bad. And this has been Sayings by M. Try. Interpreted by your boy John O. Now back to the rant. And finally, if you haven't seen it by now, you must have been living under a rock. Mr. R. Kelly walks out of his interview at the Huffington Post because the interviewer continued to ask him about questions about his alleged case from back in the day. A lot of people felt he was wrong about it, but I have to say this. I felt he was right. He did it in a respectful way. He didn't get irate or anything like that. And I'm here to promote an album. I'm not here to talk about a case that happened years ago. He didn't go to jail for it, so therefore, 
Why are we talking about this? Now, let's let's just be real. I seen the tape. I seen the tape. It was him. It was him. There's no way it wasn't him. But at the end of the day, would that interviewer have done the same thing if it was Woody Allen? He married his stepdaughter. Really? But yet we still want to talk about OJ. We want to talk about R. Kelly. We want to say Michael Jackson's a molester. But on another note, I got to big up Frank Sinatra because he would have turned 100 this year. And between you and I, Frank Sinatra is probably my third best singer of all time behind Marvin Gaye and Michael Jackson. I think he was a tremendous singer. His personal life, I don't give a damn about. I'm just talking about his singing. That's it. But again, I reiterate, would she have did that to Frank Sinatra or Woody Allen? I doubt very seriously. And these are just my thoughts. For the last joint of the year, I want to do some shout outs to two people who constantly watched my videos all the time. And one of them who constantly gave me definitely dope ass feedback. So shout out to my people. I'm going to call them the ovations. From now on, y'all my ovations. John O and the ovations. So big up to my girl, Charlie Girl, who's been watching me ever since I got on YouTube. And big up to my man, Brian J. Howard, who gives me the definite, definite, definite critiques that I need for my rants. So shout out to you. You are my two ovations of the last video of the year. Also, I want to let y'all know, I had fun shooting these rants. And I'm at 62 or 63 at this point, but at 100, I'm calling it quits. So when I get to the 100th rant, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to move on to something else. Uh, same thing with my Dear Johns. I'm at 60-something on that too. So you might want to get your Dear John questions in now for the next year so that I can have you in those. Because at the end of the year, I believe... Well, that'd be like 40 more videos. So that'd be almost close to the end of the year next year. I'm going to end these things. So continue sending me your rants. Continue sending me your dear chans. Because at 100, I'm bowing out gracefully, baby. This has been this week's rant with your boy John No. Make sure you don't do something, say something. Or let me see something that ends your ass up on this list next week. I want to thank you once again, all the people who helped me throughout the year with my rants. Please continue sending me your ideas and I will continue to put them up there and each week for the next year I'm going to have a different ovation that I'm going to shout out so if you send your stuff and you got some dope stuff look forward to the shout out from your boy uh, with that being said don't be smart be genius and always 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 stay gecko I'll see y'all next year hey J.O. it's been a good year for our rents right go right you ain't gonna say nothing to the people before we go? Huh? You wanna say Happy New Year to them? Merry Christmas, anything? Uh -huh. Y'all actually see my little man grow up in front of y'all eyes. Look at him. Hey. See? See? Dad? Say that? Say bye bye. Alright, he just wanna play with the Sporty Rich. Shout out to my man, Sporty Rich. Alright, let's go. Say see y'all later. We ain't got no we ain't got no good um. Uh, exit? E not exits. The uh, outtakes. This. Oh, okay. <laughs> this, this, this time, man. You, you, you used to have some great outtakes for us. You ain't got nothing. All right, man. That's it. See y'all next year. Hey, what's up? It's John Alley. And if you like what you just saw, then all you have to do is subscribe by pressing the button that's right over my head. And if you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, bang, they right there. All right. And if you want to see more of my vlog videos. Bam! They're right there. Other than that, y'all have a good day. And I thank y'all so much for watching. The general has spoken. Kate told me to do this. Hey guys, I'm Kate, and I'm the one that told him to do this. Aren't you glad?